Hello Cloud Enthusiast and welcome to this tutorial on setting up AWS WorkMail in four easy steps. WorkMail is Amazon's secure and managed email and calendar service and we're going to set one up on a domain that we previously registered with Route 53. Now, if you don't have a domain set up with Route 53 and you want to go ahead and do that, there will be a link to a how-to document and a video tutorial in the description of this video. If you want to go through the steps of deploying this solution and you don't want to register a domain, do stick around because AWS offers a test domain that you can use to test AWS WorkMail. So you'll be able to go through the deployment of the solution as well. All right, it's really easy to set one of these up. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully functional email system set up for your organization or your personal web page or whatever you're using that domain for. And it's going to be fun at the same time. So let's get started and deploy this solution. Okay, here we are at the AWS console home. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do though is we're gonna go over to Route 53 and we're gonna take a look at our hosted zones. Now, when you register a domain with AWS and Route 53, a hosted zone is automatically created for you for that domain. And as you can see here, I have two hosted zones sitting here in my hosted zones and that's because I have two domains registered with AWS. And if we click in this one, you'll see there are two records in the hosted zone. And those records are created automatically and they are in the hosted zone when it is created by AWS and Route 53. All right, and if we go over here to register domains, you will see my domains are registered. Now, I don't go through the steps to register a domain in this tutorial because the process takes about 15 minutes to complete, but I do have a video that goes through the steps, step-by-step step of registering the domain and shows you how long it takes and everything. A link will be in the description of this video. Now we're going to go over to Amazon WorkMail. So we'll just type WorkMail in the search bar and click here. When you first get here, if you've ne never set up an organization, the screen will look a little different. Uh, there will be a button that says create organization somewhere in this area. Just click it. It will bring us to the create organization workflow page, right? And right here, before I told you that uh, you should have a registered domain, but if you don't, there's another way to go through this building this solution. Here it is, right? So it, right here it says existing Route 53 domain. That's what we have. We're going to leave this check. But if you don't, all the way down here, the last option, if we click that, it'll say free test domain. And you can use this test domain provided by AWS WorkMail to build the solution and test it out. And you can add your domain later if you want to keep it, if you like it and you want to keep it. So that's what that looks like. But since we have a, a domain existing already, we're going to build it in this fashion, right? So the second thing you need to do is select the hosted zone for your domain. And if you remember, I went and showed you in Route 53, your hosted zone that is connected to the domain you registered. We're going to pick gadgettoolslabs.com. That is the hosted zone connected to the registered domain gadgettoolslabs.com. We can put an alias for this organization in this next box, and I'm just going to call it gadgettools-labs. Now, you can't have capital letters or spaces or anything in there. It'll flag you, so your stuff needs to look like this. In the advanced settings, you don't need to change anything, leave them at the defaults, but I want to show you. So right here, it says user directory. When you create this organization, it'll create an Amazon WorkMail directory for you. But if you happen to have a directory already that you want to tie to this organization, you can click use existing directory and go search it and pull it up. Also, there's an option for encryption. You can use Amazon WorkMail Managed Key, which is what we're going to do, leave it at the default. But if you have an existing customer managed key, you can use that too to encrypt uh, your data. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and click Create Organization here. And now we have Gadget Tools Labs Organization, gave us an organiza organization ID. 
and it is in a state of create. So we'll give that a second and it only took a few seconds. As you can see now, the organization is ready to use. It, it's active and ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on it and it's going to bring us to the organization configuration page, right? And the first thing we want to do is add our uh, domains to this. So we're going to, in the left-hand corner, click domain. As you can see, we have a Gadget Tools Lab domain that is verified. We're gonna click on it. And right here, it says to be able to use this domain with WorkMail, you need to configure it by adding the following DNS records. Now, I mentioned earlier that in your hosted zone, WorkMail will add some records so that there will be good communication, right? And these are the records they're going to add. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can automatically let WorkMail update all of your Route 53 records, or you can uh, copy the information from the records down here and go ahead and manually create them over there in your hosted zone. So we're going to automatically let WorkMail do ours. And we're going to go right here and click update all in Route 53. May take some time before the changes become effective and your domain is completely verified. Refresh this page to see the current status. So we can hit X on that. And uh, as you can see, these records were missing. So we're just going to do a refresh and see what we get. And now those records are there and verified. You can see the details of the records that had been added. And if we, let's just go ahead and click on services here and go over to Route 53. And if we go into hosted zones here and we click on our hosted zone for Gadget Tools Labs, we will see there's a bunch of new records. Remember there was only two now we have all of these. Let's go back to work mail. Let's click on our domain. Okay, we need to change the default domain. Currently our test domain is default. We want to change that back. So what we're going to do is click on domains and right here, see this gadget tools labs that gadget tools dash labs dot AWS app.com this is a domain automatically created by WorkMail. Um, it's kind of a default domain, but we want our domain that has been registered to be the default. So we're going to click the bubble next to the name of our domain and we're going to click come up here and say set as default. My domain has now been set as default and now we can keep on moving. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some users to the organization. So I'm going to click on users here on the left. As you can see right now, we don't have any users. I'm going to click create a user and we're going to create our first user. So the username is going to be Bell. And the first name is going to be I'm just going to put Bell again. I don't need to put a last name. My display name will be Bell. And my email address is going to be Bell at the domain that is registered to us, right? And it's automatically selected because we selected this domain as our default. If I click this arrow, you'll see that other default domain that gets created by WorkMail right there. So that is good. Now we need to create a password for this user. There is some requirements. It's got to be a minimum of at least eight characters. It's got to have a, you know, upper, lower case and all of the jazz. So let's see if we can. Okay, create that user. Successful created bell is really instantaneous. If we click on the user, we can see the information about it. Right here, you see quota. The current mailbox quota is 51,000 MB. We can edit this. So whatever we want up to 51,200 mobile devices. If you added it to a mobile device, that information can show up here and any special permissions you have would show up there. So now let's go back to organizations and let's go click on organizations. And now that we have our user created, we can go ahead and test the email. We're essentially done, right? That's 
as simple as it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is right down here on the right, you'll see it says Amazon Workmail Web Application. We're gonna take this link and let's open up an incognito a window, shall we? So let me see if I can get that done. All right, incognito window. And let's just paste that in there. And it's going to bring us to Amazon Workmail for Gadget Tools Live organization. And we're gonna log in with that user we created. So it's gonna be Bell and the password. And we're in. So uh, yes, capitalization matters on the login ID. Okay, so look at this. Let's go ahead and make it big. We're in our email, our work mail email. And if you look over here, there is a calendar and it looks pretty good. This don't look too bad at all. And you got your contacts when you feel that and you got your mail over here. All the usual suspects, junk mail, outbox, draft, so on. Just like any regular email client that you're familiar with, Outlook and so on. Let's do some testing on this thing, right? So what I want to do is send an email to this email. And I also want to uh, reply back from this email. So I'm going to go over here on a, another email account on another screen. And I'm going to send an email to our user here at our domain. Now, let me see if I can find my email address. There it is. So I'm going to copy that. Go back to mail here and I'm going to paste that in my other email account here. So I'm going to, okay. And let's give it a couple of seconds. You know how that email do it should let's, and we're going to click this refresh button to see if it's made it to us yet. So click it, boom. And look at that inbox. There is a message. If we click inbox, there it is from Warner Bell. Yo, what's up? It's tough all over. Wow, that's cool. So I'm just going to reply to Mr. Bell. And we're going to send it. Looking here in the sent. It's in there, outbox. There it is, inbox. And there you have it, right? I just sent an email to it. We replied. This is the Amazon work mail. It looks like any standard email client. It's going to be good for you. And it's really cheap. It's like $4 a user. Okay, we can put this down. And go back over to our organization inside Workmail. If you want to set up your Workmail account with third party email providers like Outlook or something, say you got all your Outlook calendars, all your calendars on Outlook or Blue Mail, you can click this link right here. It'll take you to the how to document how to set up your email account on those third party clients, and it'll give you all of the uh, server information you need to to get that set up all right ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the tutorial if you found it helpful go ahead and smash the like button for us so we can get all in that youtube algorithm please feel free to share the video so others can benefit from the experience and the knowledge that we kick in in these tutorial videos and until the next video peace